washing falling off your line with new Peggy's Pegs. Peggy's Pegs will hold fun while it all's just leave that sagging feeling. So if you're looking for a good peg, pick Peggy's Pegs from Bronby on the penny spare bag. At Easter time, remember the poor rabbits running around the fields. They seem to be happy going round their business. They go round without worry. They go without care. So let's take a leaf out of their books and go like a bunny. <laughs> remember the old time songs. Remember singing round the fire. Do you remember that? I don't remember that. Now you can have them in your collection. Yes, in your home. At Ronnie's Records, we've got all the old 70s. We'll even throw in the record player. So visit Ronnie's Records from the street. Press it. Stylus needles not included. Not included. Not included. Do you have problems with mess from your beds, big Yes, yes. you yes. Now listen in. Right. Don't worry. Don't worry. Right. We have the answer at Bronby. Bronby's a place, man. Oh, God, it's tough to say. Put our tray down on your floor and teach your puss to use it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Cleans up that mess in an instant. Is it? Right. Whiff away! <laughs> Whiff away! Whiff away! Soak up the skitter with our cat litter. From Bronby. Everything's from Bronby. What is this about Bronby? This is the quality company, big up. Is it? Quality? Absolutely. You like to say quality? Um, very good. Station. Very good. Lovely biscuits. Oh, very, very good. I sound like an Irishman. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm an Irishman oh, from, Do you. from Donegal. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. I'm no big fella. He and I are two of the best man in Ayrshire. Did you? Uh, Wait, yeah. It's me, dog. All right. I'm going to try and cheer you up a wee bit. How are you going on now, Paul? Uh, I'm fine, I'm fine. How about yourself? We're back, lad. We're back, we're at. Is it a week already? It's a wee calf. A wee calf? Looks like a young coo. Is it? So, uh, now, we better tell all the viewers to this show, because there's some smashing followers in this show, you know. There is, they're, they're, all, they're, they're absolutely gorgeous. Some of them's gorgeous. Some, some of them's ugly. ugly. Some of them's got two big lumps. Oh, where? Chewing gum. Oh, right. Behind the lug. Ken wants to eat a lot of chewing gum. And you stick it behind the lug so when the nurse comes, you don't get any chewing gum, don't you? Pimples. You ever been bored with pimples, mate? Um, Even when you are a teenager, was you ever bored with pimples? No, really. Have you ever had a pimple in your bum? Aye. Have you? Aye. What did you do for it? How did you, how did you get rid of it? Um, I squeezed it. Oh! <laughs> I got a mental picture there. That was <laughs> too much information bad, there. Was it, bad, was it right? Oh! It wasn't even right at all. Here, I'm, I'm, what have we got coming out today, mate? What have we got coming out today? Nothing. I've nothing prepared. Nothing? Not a thing. I've got nothing? nothing. I've got nothing? Genius. There's going to be no show out today. I've got, that'll cheer everybody up. So I'll be wanting to get home. What are you doing? I keep flapping my thing about in front of my face. Hey, that's... Uh, Never bothered with that. No. Very loud, no either. <laughs> no. I've what? got a lovely song for Lulu coming up. Did you know that? Who? Do you know Lulu? What's her first name? Lou. What's her second name? Lou. Aya Kenner. <laughs> She's the um, Let's go easy. I've heard her. Right? And she gets that Botox injections. Does she? Oh! What happens there? Swallows it right up. What happens there? What do you do with that? You inject her face with this stuff, right? And it dissolves her ankles out. Botox, it's good. I don't need any. You had buttocks. Jackson, did you? I say, I got rid of that pimple. Your <laughs> face looked like that. That's oh, right. Joy. Still does. <laughs> now, come on. Right. That wasn't nice. Right, uh, you can't right. say words like that in this show. Because here, like I've, I've been told, right, right, by people, we're getting too crude. We're, we're, saying, we're crude. saying things like bum and chum. Knees. <laughs> He's up Mother Brown. She must have been a big woman. Aye, aye. We're seeing too many things that, that are disgusting. Uh, and we've actually had a complaint, you know, okay. from, from the IBTC. You mean there's people listening to us? Itty bitty titty committee. Oh, aye. <laughs> <laughs> they complain about it. Uh, yeah. But, oh, have the undercrackers on the day again. Oh, no. Sliding about this leather chair. Oh, it's, it's, it's no nice, huh? I can imagine. Too much information again. If you yeah. want that pimple, if you get a pimple today and you want it squeezed, I'm your man. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, no, I'm no for that. Because you might get one, you know, sitting well, in a leather chair. See that Irish fella? I think he fancies me. What Irish fella? That fella comes into this show. Uh, Patrick. Patrick O'Pat. Hey, oh, here. Yeah. I think it is. It's a wee notion for me. I think he says I'm a handsome big fella. Oh, yeah, what happened? What was that last week, by the way? Before you get into four, what about the smell last week? What was it? The smell? Ah, there was enough of smell going about the good last week. Smell? Ah, a pungent smell. It was a flu show! 
Sabi na, guys. Oh, right. Doon na, Rizal. Rizal pa. Oh. Eh, never mind about flu of shows last week. What, what, what? It's a big day again. Big day, day, is it? Big day, the day. Oh, big jangs. That's the second time in, what, three weeks? There'll be boys fleeing everywhere. There'll be crowds roaring. Oh, yes, yes. There'll be ice cream getting eaten. Yep, yep. There'll be, there'll be everything. Oh, it's good, good. There'll be whistles blowing. Pies. Huh? Pies. Oh, I suppose somebody might have a pie. There'll be clowns. There'll be bouncy castles. Bovril? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, you don't get bovril at Derby. Derby so. Derby Gallaudet. Oh, I thought you were talking about the Fatba. The Fatba? The Fatba's on today. Oh, the English Premiership? It's got each one as well. No, no, that big day. Derby Derby Gallaudet. What's it Derby Gallaudet? Uh-huh. Derby Gallaudet. No, Derby. It's Derby. Spell it D-E-R-V-A-L. Derval. I thought it was D-E-R-V-O. Dervo. Ah. Huh. <laughs> no. Hey, did you know reading it? And, oh, I'm getting in trouble with this. <laughs> Pelvic thrush movements here. Really? Like, oh, did you going to see what I was doing there? I was scratching my undercrackers. Right, right. <laughs> it's nice. Yes. I saw it. Oh, it's nice. It's big up. Here. Remember I was telling you about Lulu? Oh, aye, aye, aye. I mean, you've seen something about her earlier. I've invited her into the show. Oh, she's going in here, is she? She's coming in here. Uh, 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 hey, hey, her. Oh, no. We've, we've got a new... Booker. <laughs> 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 We've got a new agent, right? Right, right. Honest Harry. Honest Harry? Yes. Free Simon. Honest Harry for Simon, too. Uh, <laughs> he's in a big house in Simon. Well, I hope it didn't happen, but it happened before, you know. He's worth a fortune, this guy. Oh, he doesn't need to cheat us. He might need the last times. Ah, that was honest damn fucking line. Come on, not any place. He's lost. I'm glad you folk up that way, though. James. Well, this guy for Simon, and I've been told, right? Lulu's coming into the studio this afternoon. That's good. On the hour. Every hour, two o'clock. Oh, that's the news. Can't have that. Can't have that. No. Have a good day. Need be after the news. Only we'll shifter. Would you shift, Lulu? I wouldn't mind. <laughs> the boys would love that. I wouldn't mind shifting her, yes, I'll shift her. We pause. <laughs> right. Are we going to play the way I say, I think I'm getting smutty on this. So sure. It's yep. too much, I think. Let's not get too much. I think we better yeah. zip up our stuff. Let's get back to our normal pelter. Right. And you pelt it out. Pelt it up. Now. Right. What? What have we got coming out in the show? Except for Lulu. Cliffhanger. A if cliffhanger. Last, if you last week. What was it? Episode of Doctor Love Story. Doctor Love Story. Starring Nurse This and Sister Could. And Nurse That. No, she's out, didn't you? Is she? Mind she get... You're right, out. Mind she, well, mind she get knocked down by the trolley. Oh, that's right. She uh, ended up had to go and get her buns cut out. Bunions cut out. <laughs> uh, well, she's not been back in it since then. Right. Yeah. Fan it, fan well, give her a hand last week. Right. Oh, nurse, this is how it finished, right? This is how it finished. Oh, nurse, it's swollen up to an awful size. Uh-huh. Right, and that was the end of it. Oh. Right, that, the, the curtains come down and you... Right, so that was it finished. Uh-huh. So we'll be, we'll be zooming into Dr. Love story later on. Yep. Probably about on there every hour, two o'clock. Oh, just after. I'll run about there, right? Yeah. Uh, every hour, two o'clock. Michael Muse. Michael Muse reads the news for all you lovely listeners in Hospital Radio Land. Now, we had a complaint last week. What was the complaint? Come on, come on. Uh, Somebody from Presswick Hospital, the big up to see, who listens to this show, one of our regular listeners. Right. Psychiatric block. Well, I can... I can uh, right. Um... <laughs> He listens every week, this one. Right. Faithfully. Mm-hmm. And he's a faithful chap. Right. What did he say? What well, he say? because I was slagging folk for press week, I'm saying they were all thick. Do we not say folk for air was thick as well? We did. But I think that was just to get out it a wee bit. Right. Just to get even things up. The phone is in and it says, See, you two. You two are getting it. What are we getting? What are we getting? Paid. We can actually get paid. I never said what we were getting. Was it, so, was it, was well, it? I would, I'm going to challenge him. I'm going to say, phone back in and Big Al will speak to you. He'll no belong with you. Oh, uh, 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 you no belong with Oh no, it's too big for me. Hey, come on sir, that's what you're here for. You're here to sort things out in this show. Uh, you're the producer. I was going to hide behind that Christmas tree. You had, you behind the room beside the piano. Uh, Hiding the cupboard at the back of the place. Oh, the in there. decorations are in there. Oh, right, they've put them by eventually. Uh, I'll belong to the date Christmas tree's back up, it's still up there. See it. Ah, but still, it hasn't been plugged in for a bit. Yeah, that's, 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 that's that's MRM, one, one third of the MRM. Well, we better tell everybody about the MRM coming today live from Rugby Park. No, if we don't switch the one or no. Martin 
the main man. Oh. <laughs> Martin, the main man, Sherry. No, Martin's not the main man. Who is the main man? Is that a. Uh, Mike Manley? No, it's not the main man. It's Ryan Hunter. Ryan Hunter's the main man, you know. I think Ryan Hunter's the main man. Could be. Well, anyway, no matter, anyway. Right, the MRM is Martin, Ryan, and Mike, the main man, Manley. All right, aye. Who aye. runs this show? Full boat, the full boat, he runs, he's a captain of the ship. He steadied us through thick and thin. He even got a pie rise from once, didn't he? No. He took it back after four feet. And double. He's ice threatening us with pie rise, isn't he? Yeah. Never ever seen him. After he had his day, that's for the lover, didn't it? Yeah. So do you. Good day, What was your name last night? Karaoke. Talk to me in Japanese. Karaoke. Oh, you, you are, you are karaoke. Oh, I'm karaoke. Wow. What, karaoke. what did you sing? In the crowd, I tell you what. Can I tell you what? What did you sing at the karaoke in the crowd? I sang, I sang. Song, song, blue. Various songs. Beginning with? Very first song. Oh, he's your first champer. Mm. Yeah, up in the roof. Up on the roof. Jiffy dabby, diffy dabby, doof, doof. All right, that was a good job. Yeah. What else? Just look, basically make a noise with my bit of paper. Alright. So we folk in here. Yeah. I like it. That's uh, Derek uh, making a bit of noise with a bit of paper. Is that? Yeah. Get video of that, huh? Mm-hmm. Visual. What else did I say? I love his name. Yeah. What's that like I said? <laughs> huh? Alright. <laughs> oh, so I was reading, a, I was reading an old script. <laughs> no. Know that this show is scripted much. Uh-huh. You only think that, don't you know the crap we're coming? That's true. Here. What? Quite simply. The greatest show on earth. So it is. So it is. This is quite simply the greatest show on earth. Ask this woman. This woman. Lara. Hello, this is Lara Croft. Okay, she's talking. And when I go to Reading, I like to listen to Dan Pickett. That's because. Have that been it's that quite way? simply the greatest show on earth. Quite simply. The greatest show on earth. The greatest show on earth. And Lara Croft is the last day. So Lara, Lara Croft. Like, L- Lara Croft. Lara Croft. <laughs> <laughs> you start calling, okay? Yeah. <laughs> If Lara Croft, Lara Croft, if she listens to it, it must be good. Must be good. Uh-huh. Here, must have a, must have a fiver. Mind him. Must have a dance spot. We've got a game coming up. I have. A great game. If you want to phone us in, 4041, ask nurse this. To wheel you along to the phone. You can take wheel your you. drip, you can take your drip with you. If wheel you, you along to the phone. Mm-hmm. Wheel you. Right, sorry. You can <laughs> carry your drip way if you want, can't you? You can pull that wee yeah, drip you can take it, you can stick it in the wee, wee stone and push it along the wheel. Oh, you go. Uh-huh. But stop at the phone, don't make a big bid for freedom and head out the front door. Well, that's the end of the phone. Somebody there. Don't the phone first and then make a bid for freedom. Aye, uh, kid, when you're going to the phone, then put the door like No, no, that we encourage that. No, we don't know. We don't. Yeah, we could, you could phone us first before you go. Yourself, so don't do that. No, yes, game's coming up, Alistair. No, yes, how do you do? How do you do? How do you do? Well, I'll explain it to you. What happens is, right, every hour on you at 2 o'clock, no, that's news. News, news, news. Sorry, news. sorry, I'll keep getting caught with that. Some of the phones in, right? Uh-huh. And if they say yes or if they say no, they don't get the tenner. They've got to last one minute. What's a tenner now, is it? Ten spot. Oh, yeah. They don't have to. They, they've got to last one minute. And I fire questions. I'm getting it. You fire questions. Fire things at them, right? And if any of your answers are yes or no, mm-hmm. then they're lost. I've, I've got this rehearsed, don't you? And it's for a ten spot. I'm getting it. Find so that Des O'Connor used to do this game. Well, it was me who gave him the idea. Hey. Oh, yeah, I am. Something like that. Idea. Oh, there's an air game show. Is there no, is there no uh, play the right cards? Play the right cards is coming up. So if you want to play the yes no game or play the right cards, two phone is up. On the hour, on two o'clock. On the hour, no, two o'clock. No, That's good news. That's good Every hour on the hour. No, it's no. No. Play the right cards. Play the right cards. It's coming up sometime today between one and three. But we've got Rugby Park, we've got Kilmarnock against. Have we a clue who they're playing? Yeah. Just get all the answers. Well, Kelly's playing anyway. Motherwell. Are they? I think. Is she well? Is she mother well? She's mother well. Oh, so, Martin Sherry's going to talk to Terry Butcher, I heard. Terry Butcher, is he? Yeah, he's going to be on the show live. Don't stand in front of the door. No. So, if you want to hear Terry Butcher, Martin Sherry talking to Terry Butcher live in this show. And Jim Jeffries. Jeffries. They'll probably talk to Jim Jeffries. He'll be talking to Jim Jeffries. Yeah, yeah. And he probably gets a hold of the main man down at Rugby Park. Would you call him the director? Would you call him? Yeah. Here, get it, that's I think we've got all the information in front of you. Here, that's me, man, manly. No, yeah. it's Sir, Sir John Orr. Oh, John Orr. John Orr. So, Martin Kent's I'm quite well. They go camping, Orr. they go camping together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Up to the Brecon Beacons. Yeah. Come down for the hills of Brecon, flew a hungry hare and on a barley hit his neck, and he said, Boom, 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 apples have hit my neck on. <laughs> <We saw that. laughs> 
Can you have Sprava <laughs> jump <laughs> test? <laughs> oh, I've got a new thing coming up today. Oh, hey. Yep. yep. I'm going to, to dig some fuels out of the back. <laughs> Why? Oh, right. It's called the Dale Big Owl Team Team. What do you mean, farms? I'm going to, somebody, somebody wrote in to tell us that there's a, there's a special dig out the back door there. Oh, this is old Roman folk. That's right, so I'm going to, to, to dig some, some earth up and see if I can find something. Well, I'll tell you, I'll look for it to that. Yes, yeah, you can watch me out the window here. I'll, I'll report to everybody yep, what you're doing. Yep, you can. We, we can take the radio mic. Yep, yep. And you can dig a big trench. Yeah, we'll dig a trench. We'll get the diggers and the crane and everything. Oh, you got a team, a team coming to help you? Yep, yep. How oh, many folk? Well, oh, about 20. Are they? Yeah. And the digger and everything? And everything's here. Just out the back door. If you lock out the back. If you lock out the back of the... the just the about the, oh, is it? two o'clock on the other. Oh, no, yeah, that's, 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 that's good news. news. Yeah. Um, time team. Tell them big yeah. owl. History time team. Tell them big owl. History time team. So we're going to be doing a dig the day yep. uh, to, to dig up an old Roman fort. Up next to the trees there that somewhere. That they've found. Some, uh, it's near the trees. So if, you see, if you look at it, you'll see the big orange, the, the yellow marks. The yellow marks, you see. What we're going to dig. The yellow marks. So, so the, the big... So uh, map too, and, and, and only when we find, we'll report live in the show. Yeah, that's good. Oh, yeah. we're finding. Yeah, of course. So that'll be fantastic. That's coming up on the hour ever two o'clock. No, oh, no, it's Michael Mays. Oh, no, it's Michael Mays. I've done that too often. Yeah, I've done that. Maybe I'll shut up. Well, that'll be coming up in a wee while, won't we? Yeah. Lulu's coming into the studio. Uh-huh. We've got Antiques with Derek. Antiques with Derek? That'll be coming up. Uh-huh. Well, basically, we value an antique, because we're good yeah. at it. Yeah. That's, that's basically it. Uh-huh. That's just basically it, isn't it? Gullible's Travels with Big Linda. She's coming up in a wee while. Gullible's Travels. Which is, if you're looking for a good holiday, cheap holiday, Linda will be on with a bargain of the day. Yeah, well, you have oh, to yeah, get that's the better right I can do. That's what you like, that bargain uh-huh. of the day. We could write that. What's the phone number, Simon? Five, five? Yeah, Tabo. Tabo, five, five. Five, 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 five. That's it. Right, what was, um, what was my catchphrase there? Bargain of the day. Bargain of the day. I'd like to write that down next to it, because I quite like that. Well, we've got the Jam Buster Hotline. Oh, the Jam Buster Hotline. Jam Buster Hotline, yeah, it'll be here. So if you've been seeing any jams today on the roads, phone in 4041 on the Jam Buster Hotline and we'll inform everybody. Yep, yep. Oh, wait, I mean, we've we'll got a rude bloke in the world. What was it again, the thing? What? Bargain of the day. Bargain of the day. Bar, G-A-I-N, Bargain of the Day. 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 No, no, what, about, about 23, 23, about 23, 23, 23. Be so what Betty does is she cooks an Indian meal for us live on air from the Hilton Hotel. The Hilton Hotel, where's the Hilton Hotel? Class, well we don't know if it's class or not, well, well, it's one of the Hiltons, uh, but the phone number, see the phone number on our phone, it's Bolton, 555, 555, 555, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, Confirmed news, news, yep, news yep, with yep. his lovely partner Wendy Weather. Yep, she'll yep. be telling you the weather. Uh, you've, well, got, you've got, you've got um, that fella of Ireland when you cramps. The psychotic interpreter. No, oh, Patrick, psycho- Patrick O'Pat. Oh, he's a psycho. Uh, pa- yes. Patrick O'Pat is coming into the studio today with his dear Patrick. Yes, dear, dear Patrick. Dear Patrick. Yes, so he, he's a great agony uncle. Yeah. So if you've got anything to you can't spill your hair to him, yeah. go for him. This is a wee song. This is from. Who do you who? Lulu, I thought you said Lulu, a song from Lulu. No, you came at once, I've got to say Lulu. It's track number seven, Alistair Murray. Is it? Seven? Are you a big fan of your mouth? Hi. Or did you? Oh, was your mouth. Was you knit it? I was knit it. I was knit it in your mouth. I'm not it. Bees.
didn't break your ass there. Did when you? You're better than that. No, boat. you didn't. Did? Did you? You had Boulder's bum. It's amazing, man. Never been bored with Boulder's bum. Yes. <laughs> yes, Ken. <laughs> see, <laughs> see if you're walking on a bound site and you drop your shirt. <laughs> would you bend it and pick it up? No, I wouldn't, actually. How no? Could be a bit of shirt lifting. Good point. Mm-hmm. Now, you know why I did that? Right, I've disappeared here for some reason. What are you? I don't know. That's it. Leave that. Aye. Right, that's oh. it. What are we? Was you away? I don't know. I was sad about to come show you. Maybe I wasn't bothered with your slider again. Oh, no, a slider. Here, yeah, everything come out alright for you this morning? Yes. What's that? Just a light. What about you? I fear. Yes, it wasn't as. Um... Intense as usual? No. You're too tense. It wasn't like doing deep bone thrombosis. Oh, right. Can I carry on? That's it, you get planes in that. Is it? If you go to Australia. Don't have to go in planes. Your legs, your legs just, just planes? That's what you can get up. Various ways. Well, I don't really want to talk about it, to be honest with you. Set me your legs close for about four to five hours. Well, between four and five hours? Aye. Here, huh. Ken, 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 um, Ken, Ken. Ken Everett. Where you go there? I thought they were jokes for last week. Oh, right, read them out to me. What are you in? What ones? See if we, see if we can on it. Two peanuts go into a bar. Right. One was assaulted. That's a shame. See, that shouldn't have happened. No, that's true. No, I don't like fighting. A drunk lady walks into a bar. The barman says, I've served you, but don't start any. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. You heard about the dyslexic pervert that walked into a bra? Warning, warning. <laughs> this program may contain nuts. <laughs> that's true. Man. Play the right cards is coming up, pal. Play the right cards? Oh, it's a good game. It's a good game. But straight away we're getting over to the phone lines. <laughs> Hello caller, come in, you're welcome, you're on the yes no game. You cannot say yes and you cannot say no. My name's Derek Wilson, this is Big Al. What's your name and where are you from? My name's Fairy. Fairy, hello Fairy, how are you getting on? I'm fine. What's your second name, Fairy? Annie. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. Can I call you Annie? Yes. <laughs> and the reason for funny about that, what's he saying? Is that a fella? Yes, where are you from, Fairy? Turbouton! Turbouton's a lovely place. Have you ever planted turnips in Turbouton? I have! <laughs> you're on the ball, Fairy. Now, Fairy, your dad used to work in the pit, is that true? He did. Now, your mum used to be a shirtlifter for Scotland. She didn't. She didn't. Was she, was she, did she iron shirts? England. Oh, so that's what England she wanted. Was your, um, now your Auntie Jeannie used to collect parrots, is that true? She did. She did? Was one of them called Polly? It wasn't. It was, it was one of them called Peter. It wasn't. Could you tell me every name of every parrot beginning with yes and no? I can't. Ah, oh, see, you're on the ball. Uh, Annie, what's your name again? Fairy, right. So, Fairy, now, you used to go to Kilmarnock every Friday afternoon shopping a herd. I did. And you used to pick uh, turbouton onions. I did. And that's where they get the saying, you've got a heed lot of turbouton onion. That's true. <laughs> that's true. That's <laughs> true. Fairy. Now, Annie, was it that? So, Fairy, you're from turbouton. I am! And are you ready to play the yes no game, Perry? Yes! Oh. Ah. That's you, oh. Perry! Oh. Speed oh. Billy, oh. darling. Speed oh. Hey, this is just for you, Perry. This is a. Hey, listen to the words of the song. It's quite, what is it? quite raunchy. Yeah. Lie back and listen to that song if you're feeling good. Hello. Okay!
Hospital radio. Air hospital You're radio. tuned to Dell and Big Alf. Air Hospitals Radio. The hospital radio of air. It's simply. Good. Take it away, Big Alf. The greatest show at all. It's simply. It is. It's simply, that's for sure. What do you do about that? What are we going to do? A bit of rock and roll, Ian? Ah, it's Grease. No, and you were telling me. Oh, right, when right. I slid your slider up, you didn't get it was on. Ah, but somebody's waiting for it to stole the other side. Ah, oh, you're too okay. The one I want it. You're the one that I want? Yeah, that's not there. Not there. But some, some songs, yeah. Yeah, that was an awful nice woman for you to bout in there. She was very nice. Um, fairy. Fairy, aye, fairy. It's a funny name, though, isn't it? It's a funny name, that. It definitely is. She's a nice woman, though. Funny name, though. Her yeah, mother used to grow onions. Did she? Mm-hmm. She's telling me. Where we go for all... I was not listening. Where we go for all the viewers today in this show? What else should we go at? Are we going to do one in a tour? No. I've done the No Yes game. Who cares? Oh, play the right cards? Oh, you could do that, the new? No. How? Too early. You think so? Ah. Well, I've got, a, I've got a series, I'm going to turn the, I have to turn the music off. I've got a serious discussion for you. No, I can't hear me. Oh. Oh, it's not my fault. I mean, sometimes you've just got to talk serious. Oh, Alistair Murphy. From all over the world. Well, then you go, Derek Smolson, let us get Here, did you hear Viagra? <laughs> right? Yeah. Been reported has been taken by certain football players. Is it? Right, turn this, this is serious. Right, certain football players, Scottish Premiership. Mm-hmm. This is serious. Right. Reported, awesome. right? Uh-huh. Taken Viagra. Are they? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, that's. What do you think of that? It's a wee bit hard to take, I know. Well, if you don't swallow it quite, you've got a <laughs> stiff neck. <laughs> Oh, that's just a wee funny bit. Yeah, but yeah, they are. Well, I'm going to tell you what happened, right? Can how they can how they fun out? Because there were some of them sticking out more than others. Ah, uh, well. Players do stick out more than others. Try again. Ah, oh, sad. <laughs> I'm fed up. Yeah. Mate, Mate you're just going to game? Mate, you go. I'm just going to game. I'm going to be swally. Ah. You're going to tonight, you can't. Oh, that's right, that's well. Where are you going to wedding? I am going to, uh, I'm going to put, what is it, a disco first, in uh, Rickard and Bowling Club. Just for something new, like? No, no. My friend, uh, 
Oh, you can keep up your engine. It's a DJ. Oh. That'd be incredible. Incredible. Yes, incredible. <laughs> let's get fresh in the weekend. Fresh in the weekend. Alan Muir. Alan, let's get fresh in the weekend, Muir. Yeah, that's well, true, that's him. I know. Uh -huh. I've got set up at Rickard and Brilliant Club for him so he can do his disco the night. Airship's top DJ. He is. Better for you. Do, 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 do. Oh, he does a lot of that, though. Here. Well, let's get fresh in the weekend. Things like that, okay, I mean, it's, it's on your record that you have. Ah, he sees it every five minutes. Uh -huh. So he does. Now, Alice. Airship's top DJ. Get fresh to the weekend. And where is he this weekend? Yeah, Rick and Lauren Club. So after I, after I set up the disco, right. I'm going to I'm going up the house to, to dump the car. Go to Jamaica, man! That's an, an Irishman. And um, and I'm going to the uh, Ghoston Barcastle Social Club. There's a wedding on. Uh, the reception's in there. Are you feel up that way? I am feel up that way. Yeah. yeah. Who the who mills. Who I think the mills. Who is exactly do you stay up? The mills. The mills are smashing place, eh? Huh? Lovely. Yeah, did I tell you that, that I forget about my gran and grandpa? Tell me, tell me. Right. I like to hear. It was the 50th wedding anniversary. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Grandpa says to my gran, I'm going to take you to the circus. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. I'm going to take you, I'll turn this down, I'm going to take you to the circus, she says. Uh -huh. So, we they went up to Kelvin Hall Circus. Is that Glasgow? Mm -hmm. They've been saving up for it for 20 years. Had not been out in 20 years. Oh. Right? They're not a lot of cash, they hadn't a lot of money. Right. Things were hard in the days. So away they go is up to Kelvin. How many wins did they go? 17. Uh, things were hard then. They were. Periodically. Uh -huh. So, away they go up there and, oh, the atmosphere, oh, the, the bananas, the, there was everything. Bananas? I mean, I've lost mine. Sorry, well, look, is it? Oh, it's there. Oh. You, let me hear you have a wee drink. Are you listening to my story? Are you listening to my story? Right, right. So they had bananas and the oranges. and they had a great time, right? The crowd, yeah. And they much money that. So, on the wall, big poster. Ride the Bucking Bronco, a thousand pound to the winner. Oh, if right. you can stay on for more than three minutes, Bucking Bronco. Right. My grandpa says, my granny, see that thousand pound hen? It's as good as yours. She says, what do you mean? He says, I'm going to ride that Bucking Bronco. Oh, she says, Wally, she says, you can't. Don't go in there. Oh, you don't slap the words there. Huh? <laughs> don't go in there. You'll kill yourself. You'll kill yourself, Wally. She says, he says, darling, things are tight. Things are tight, he says. Uh -huh. And they are tight. Uh -huh. After 17 wins, they're still tight. It'll have to be if you're on a monkey bronco, you know. That's true. So, he says to Ringmaster, I'll do that. I'll be the bucking bronco master, he says. For a grand. Hey, he's 85. Is he? When he goes, Rides a bucking bronco. The bucking bronco had never been ridden as wheel as that in, my, in its career. I can picture it. By God, he was good. So they interviewed him at the end, the end of the event, you see. Mm -hmm. So interviews him, he says, Well, Mr. Mr. Wilson, this is, that was fantastic. That was absolutely fantastic. My grandma was standing with a tear in her ear next to him. Mm -hmm. He says, That was absolutely fantastic. Where did you learn to do that? And he turned to my granny, he says, Mind your nephew, the hooping cough. <laughs>
Yeah.